you go ahead. Yeah, it's rolling. Oh, jeez. You can tell me you're rolling. Rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay. Welcome to the Green Apple Home. So cranberries are in the stores, guys. It's very excited this week to see these cranberries. So I thought I'd do an apple cranberry casserole. It's kind of like an apple um, crisp kind of thing with the streusel stuff on top. Streusel? Oh my gosh, that totally reminds me of my home ec teacher. She would say, you take your streusel. That's exactly how she talked. You take your streusel and you put it in your pan. I used to could do a better impression than that. That was horrible. Anyways, I can just see her or hear her in my ears. First off, we're going to chop our apples up to get three cups worth. It calls for Rome apples, but I'm going to do some Granny Smiths and some Galas. So, but really any hard apple would be good. Come on, thingy. Let me, I'm going to have to, can you get a better angle? Oh, piece of crap. Really? Really? You're not going to do this for me? <laughs> oh, I'm so weak. This apple is like Superman. Oh my gosh, it just wouldn't break. It's like a steel apple. Wow. Okay. About dislocated my shoulder on that one. <laughs> This one should be easier. Okay, yeah. That must have just been a super apple. It is very colorful. So we have three cups of apples, two cups of whole cranberries, raw. We're adding a cup and a half of sugar, people. But you know what? Those apples are tart. And so... <laughs> you might need it. This looks like Christmas to me. Well, isn't that special? Look at there. <laughs> I love that. We're going to make our topping. I'm going to just use the same bowl. The way I only dirty up one. And we're going to make our topping. So we're going to start with some oatmeal. We have here one cup of oatmeal. I have the quick one minute oats. But I'm pretty sure you can use the regular old fashioned slow cooking oats and it would be fine. I'm sure instant oats probably would be fine too. A half cup of chopped pecans. Third cup flour, half cup brown sugar. Dump it in. Okay, class, you take your streusel and you put it in your pan. You put it in your pan. Once you have this all combined, then we're going to take it and put the streusel over your casserole. Smooth it out. Well, this is the part where you dot your casserole with butter, and you can put as much or as little as you want on there. I just kind of try and do thin, really thin slices, so you don't have to use that much, but it still kind of gets wet. Um, someone had asked about the sticks, like what's a stick of butter, half a stick, all that. I weighed a half a stick of butter, and it was 56 grams. Is that right? 56 grams? It was 56 grams. So if you're on the metric system, <laughs> then that's about how much a half a stick of butter is. We're going to bake this at 350 degrees, and we're going to check on it. It says 50 minutes, but we'll check on it. We need it to be covered, so hopefully you have a lid. If not, then you can foil it or something. This, my friends, is a two-quart casserole dish, so you're probably going to need about that size for this casserole. Or more. You can do it bigger, but... I just would hate for you to try and squeeze it in a one quart and be disappointed. Well, it's been 50 minutes, and I'm going to bake it uncovered for 10 more minutes so it'll brown. If you see any parts that are kind of dry, though, that you may have missed, you may want to just dot that part with butter. It looks actually pretty decent. But I've made it before where it kind of looks dry on one part, so this would be a good point to do that. Anyways, uncovered for 10 more minutes. It'll crisp up and be delicious. This is really yummy casserole. I would count this as a side dish and not a sweet. <laughs> Let's see. Mm, that looks good. So... 
I love it because the cranberries are so tart, but there's enough sugar in there to make it just balance perfectly. And this little crunchy stuff on top is amazing. So, I'm not like a huge cranberry fan, but I love this. Try it sometime. It makes a good side dish for Thanksgiving. Any holiday it would be good for. It's really good. So, try it sometime. Alright, we'll see you next time on the Green Apple Home.